Hello everyone. So in this first lecture, we are going to, uh, I mean the first lecture on the course data communications. Okay. So in this first lecture, these are the following objectives learning objectives so we will define what is data communication then we will list the characteristics of the data communication components of the data communication data representation and data flow so let us first start with definition of data communication definition of data communication I and mean, what is data communication right so data communication means so it is it involves two devices let's call them as device a and device b and these device have what is known as a data right so data is is the information so data they have some data data is the information okay the information presented in whatever form okay presented in Presented in forum. So, okay, some some whatever form. Let's use this whatever form. Whatever forum. And it is agreed by the both the parties. So it is agreed by the parties. Agreed by the I mean by both the parties. Or the parties who are exchanging the information. Right? And these devices, so we have a data, and this device, they are made up of, so this device, devices are, are uh, you know, uh, made of hardware. right and some software or we can call them as a programs right some programs so we have a data and devices so data is the devices have some data it's an information presented in whatever forum it is i mean uh, agreed by both the parties now the devices are made up of hardware and these two devices are connected by some form of transmission media. So we have this as transmission media. Right? So they are connected by transmission media. And these devices, they exchange. You now, so they exchange this information. So there is and exchange of exchange of this data or information between them so that is what we call it as a data data communication so what is a data communication data communication is exchange of exchange of information or data between two devices which are connected through some form of transmission medium. And for the efficient, for the efficient uh, communication of the data, there are four characteristics. Four characteristics. Right? So the first characteristics is called as 
first characteristics is called as delivery. Right? It refers to, see, the data must be accurately delivered to the user intent. Right? So if these two are communicating and if there are another devices also there which are connected uh, together, we the care the the uh, the care must be taken that the data is uh, delivered to the right user. So delivering the data to the right user. So this is the one first characteristics. Delivery to right user. Okay, so the second characteristics is called as accuracy. Accuracy. Now, what it says is the data must be delivered without alteration. So, data to be delivered. Okay, the data to be delivered without alteration. It should not get corrupted while it is <clears throat> transmitted from node A to from the user A to the user B. The third characteristic is timeliness. Right? Now the data must be received to the intended user within the specific time limit. So the data is to be delivered in a timely manner. So timely manner. The fourth characteristics. The fourth characteristic is jitter. Right. So jitter refers to <clears throat> jitter refers to variations okay in the variations in the packet arrival time. What it actually means is See, if we are sending video frames, right? So video is made up of set of frames and we are sending those frames. So we have frames that needs to be communicated, right? So that we are sending. If the delay between these frames, okay, is somewhere around 30 milliseconds. Okay, each of these frames are re reached at the destination with a same inter-frame delay. So the inter-frame delay. Okay, so with, with the same time, I mean the uh, delay, the inter-delay, the frames are received. So if this is not, so if I'm having the other frames coming at 40 milliseconds, it's not at the same, then the quality of the image or the quality of the video reception is deteriorated. Right? So jitter, the characteristics, the, the fourth characteristic is variations in the packet arrival time. To summarize this, the data must be delivered accurate, delivered to the right user without any alteration in a timely manner and the variation in the packet arrival time must be uniform. So these are the four characteristics of the data communication. <clears throat> so let's say now, what are the components of this data? Right. 
So there are five components. Okay, so we have five components. Right, so that they are, so we have first component, it's called as the send, this is, this component is sender. So device which is sending, and the second component is receiver, right? So these two devices are connected by a transmission medium. So let me have this transmission medium. Right. So this transmission medium, it can be a wired or a wireless. It can be anything. Right. And these two devices are exchanging message. So there is a message that is being sent from the sender to the receiver. So here, this arrow should not be there because we are only having a, a, the sender. So let me correct it. So we have a sender. Fine, now that this arrow is, is incorrect. The sender is sending. So we have another component called a receiver. These two are connected through some transmission medium and which can be wired or wireless and there is a message that is being sent. And to send this message, both the parties agree upon some set of rules. Okay, so there is set of rules. So rule one to rule n. So at both the sides, so this set of rules are agreed. This set of rules are called as, the set of rules are known, is known as protocol. Protocol. So what are the com five components we are having? The five components that we, we observe is, we have first component as a sender who uh, sent the data. The second component is the receiver. Third is the transmission medium. Third is the transmission medium. Fourth is the message. And finally, protocol, right? Now let us understand better about this protocol. So sender is sender, receiver, transmission, there are rules, message is there, but we are now coming across this new term called as protocol. So let us try to make it clear what is a protocol. So protocol, is first a set of rules. Right? So protocol is a set of rules. For what? To govern the data communication. So they govern the data communication. Set of rules to govern the data communication. Now, it is, it represents an agreement between the communicating devices. So it represents agreement, right? It represents the agreement between the between the communicating devices.
So what is a protocol? A protocol, I see, in data communication, these are set of rules. So there are rules that are there. I mean, in what way the data has to be presented, uh, what method we have to use it for encrypting the data. How do we route that data from sender to the receiver? How the data, how the medium has to be managed, I mean, accessed. All these, uh, you know, requirements are, are written through some set of rules. So there are some protocols and algorithms. I mean, there, there are algorithms and programs which are uh, the methods which are running in the hard on the hardware. Okay, and uh, they govern this uh, the data communication. So there are set of rules, and uh, it also uh, represents the agreement. You know, both the parties, I mean, the parties that are want to communicate, they will agree upon those rules. Is you know, how we are going. To say, for example, so if we are talking about the error control mechanism, the sender might be. Uh, the both the parties will agree upon some protocol called a CRC 16 protocol. So both the uh, devices, now they agree that they will control the error. Okay, the error in the, that happens, the alteration in the data that happened during the communication because of some reason to manage that. So they are agreeing upon this algorithm called CRC 16 algorithm. So that's called this protocol. Protocols. Okay, so now we have uh, one component here, message, right? So let take, let's try to uh, talk about it. So we have data, and uh, there are certain forms of this, right? So the data can take any of these forms. So it can be a text, right? So data from here it means. Uh, we can say that it is bit patterns. So how these data are being managed? So in a text, uh, it is also it is a, a bit pattern, and uh, uh, we represent the data uh, in computers like using ASCII code or the modern code which is called as Unicode. Sorry, Unicode. Unicode. Right. So this is one form of data. We can send the data as uh, numbers. Any right. So this is uh, also you know they are uh, they are also represented as uh, uh, bit numbers, and uh, we use some directly these binary numbers here, right, to represent these digits. The data is now and a form that it can take is <clears throat> an image. So image, uh, we can have this information either in terms of black and white. So they're made up of some pixels. Right? This, each image is made up of some pixels. And if it is a black and white image, uh, it contains only two states, either uh, a zero or a one, or we can have some shades gray images so we do have black white uh, shades between these two so each of these pixels so if i take each of this pixel now they are represented uh, with uh, some number of uh, <clears throat> uh, binary values like like an eight cross eight binary pattern so that will give us more information on different shades, or we can have a color images, right? So image is the another kind of data. Now, if I, the, the other form is the audio, that is this, that is speech or a music signal. So they are actually, uh, the, where the continuous signal is sampled to digital form. Again, there is a bit pattern. Uh, for each of these discrete values that is assigned, right? So the other uh, fifth forum is the video. So, so they, they are like, we are having multiple images uh, present. 
and their stream. So we can also have the data as video. So the data can take uh, any of these forum and sometimes it, I mean, in most of the times in data communications. We see that this data form can take uh, the combination of these forums. So there are five forums of data, uh, the data representation. Here. Okay, so they are text, numbers, image, video, and uh, audio. Right? Okay. <clears throat> now let us see how this data is being uh, is flowing. Data flowing. I mean, so we have two devices, right? We are talk, we are talking about two devices. So we, so we have a device A and device B. Right? Here, the device A is sending the data to device B. Right? So that communication is happening only from one side. That is only A is sending to B and B is not is sending any data. Right? So there is a one-way kind of communication. This kind of data flow or the data uh, communication is called as simplex, right? So we have unidirectional data communication. Unidirectional, the data is only flowing between A to B, right? For example, the example here, it is PC communicate connecting to a printer. The other ways, okay, so what we can have. So we have again, let's take this our example A and this uh, device B. Now what we will uh, have is, so if there are, if we have both the pieces, you know, so both the pieces are there, okay. And A also want to communicate to B. So A wants to communicate to B. And B also want to communicate to A. So both the devices now communicate. They, they can communicate. Now A will communicate to B okay, in the time slot P1. Whereas B will communicate after this time P1. So this is at time T2. So only after uh, the completion of the communication from A to B is completed, then the B will communicate. So this example we can take is, you know, walk it out. Right? So what we are, what is happening here is, a is sending, okay, in this direction from A to B at the time slot P1. And once the uh, communication is completed, B will uh, send the information back to A. So both the device cannot communicate at a given time. So they cannot communicate. So they cannot, they cannot communicate at same time. So this kind of communication is called as half duplex. Fine. So both cannot communicate. So only one at any given time slot can There is one more uh, kind of data. So again, I'll take these two devices, device A and device B. Again, my example is something which is, uh, you know, having capability to both send and receive. So that's our pieces, right? In this case, now both these devices can send and receive. 
attachment at the same time. So this I can call it as bi-direction. Both the devices can send and transmit. So this kind of communication is called as full duplex communication. Right? So we have three varieties. So here what they are, what is uh, uh, three varieties? The simplex, half duplex, and full duplex. And the same link is used to communicate uh, between these two devices. So we need to address some issues like sharing. So how this data is going, how this uh, uh, communication link is, is shared. Right. So, what is the example? The telephone is a very good example for this right. telephone kind of network. Okay, so telephone kind of so in pieces uh, we have to do this uh, kind of communications. Right. Okay. So we will. Uh, so that's it for this class. Uh, we have discussed. Uh, now uh, the student uh, should be able to. Uh, you know, tell what is data communication. So you'll be able to tell uh, what is data communication and uh, they can list the components, the identity, uh, the components of uh, data communications, uh, the methods for the data representation and also the, uh, uh, the data flow methods. So that's the end of this. Thank you very much.